today uh, I mentioned that we have about 200 mutations that cause retinitis pigmentosa. One of them that causes both LCA and RP is a mutation called RPE65. So there is a approved therapy for G as a gene therapy only for this specific condition. This is, you know, has already been approved, you know, in the US and across many countries in Europe. And I, th I think we are on the verge of it getting an approval in the next couple of months, you know, in India too. So what it involves is actually a surgical procedure and injecting this product of the drug. It's called Luxterna, you know, under the retina. It's a surgical procedure. The challenge with this is it is very expensive. So in the U.S., it costs about $450,000 for a 0.03 ml of the injection. And it's on a you know, similar cost in Europe. I don't know what price point is going to be launched in India, but I'm aware that it's going to be launched you know, very soon in India. So that's the only and only one that has any approved therapy in terms of gene therapy. So what is done in gene therapy is they use a virus as a carrier. It's called a viral vector. And the correct gene is introduced in that viral vector. And that is then uh, injected under the retina, so where the virus can continue to replicate you know, for a while. So that then corrects the you know, underlying mutation uh, of RP65. So this is in terms of gene therapy. As we speak, there are many, many clinical trials for other mutations for gene therapies, but there is no other approved gene therapy, you know, as of now. The second is stem cell therapies. I get many queries about stem cell therapies. And while in gene therapy, we're correcting the mutation, in stem, in stem cell therapy, what we're trying to do is to replace the cells that are damaged. So replacing the retinal pigment epithelium and then the rods and cones. This is a science that is very, very difficult. So across the world, there are a few companies, organizations that are working on trying to replace the retinal pigment epithelium alone. There are probably two or three that are trying to work on the photoreceptors, but science has not reached a point where we can actually combine the you know, rods and cones and the red pigment epithelium and then inject it under the retina. I have many, many queries that come in saying that I have been promised stem cell therapy. Can I go and get it done? So there is no approved stem cell therapy for retinitis pigmentosa or any genetic disease of the eye anywhere in the world. There is a similar condition called age-related macular degeneration or AMD that happens in older people where the central macula get, you know, starts degenerating. And there we can try to replace retinal pigment epithelium because that is a culprit in AMD. That's the main culprit in AMD. And so we try replacing the RPE cells in AMD. But in conditions like, you know, retinitis pigmentosa and so on, we cannot replace both the layers as, as of now. So even with the RPE, there are no approved therapies. There are only clinical trials. So that is something that people should understand that there are, while there are, I'm aware that there are clinics that are offering stem cell therapies, there is no approved therapy as of now anywhere in India or the rest of the world. 